Right, you guys, got another product review here for you. This is a wire free HD camera uh, by Moobox. This is the Moobox Pro XT, and uh, it's wire free 1920 by 1080 HD quality, good for night and day use. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at it in this video. So, as you can see here, 100% wire free HD quality, two way audio, motion detection, night vision, and wide angle. 120 degrees wide angle, in fact. So here is the specifications. I'm gonna give you a couple of key ones here. The storage comes with 16 gigabytes already installed, but you can inst uh, install up to 128 gigabytes. Also up to four cameras can be connected. Supports wireless 2.4G, and uh, that's B, G, and N generations. Battery is 3200 milliamp hour rechargeable battery and also a PI, PIR motion sensor on there, push notifications, CMOS imaging and H.264, 1920 by 1080. Let's get it all out of the box and take a look. So this is everything you're gonna get inside the box. You're gonna get your user manual and all your pamphlets here. And this is basically gonna help you set up your camera. Very simple and easy to do. So you've got your hub and everything else inside here and uh, you've got your USB cable here. You've got your power cable, which has got a USB end on it, which will go into the plug here with a USB on that side there. And that will plug into the wall. You've got your raw plugs and your screws. You've got your ethernet cable in case you wanted to do that over ethernet. And you've got 3M tape here, which is for the back of the bracket, which is a magnetic bracket. So if you wanted to use sticky tape on here, 3M tape you could do, and then just stick that straight on the wall. And basically, if you watch this here, it's very strong magnet and it will hold that camera up like so. As you can see here, it's not even moving. And that's quite strong. That's not gonna go anywhere. So basically, you've got your camera there. Now, if you want to screw this to the wall, you can do. You've got your hub here. This is your hub. You've got your five volt power there. You're also ethernet and your USB there. A button on top, any slip rubber feet and a reset button on the bottom. And you can see the strength of that there. Also on the bottom here, there is a little rubber grommet, which is going to help you charge the battery and also you've got a little button here at a reset. It does come with a speaker on, on here. So let me just put that rubber grommet back in. There we go. Do that in a second. And we do have a speaker here. This does have two way audio. Little mounting bracket here. Then this is where your magnetic Part will go but a very good quality camera very good quality lens on there as you'll see day and night vision on this one so what this camera is going to do is give you a complete wire free setup so you don't need any wires this is going to be maybe in your porch or something like that pointing at your front door and also simple installation as you'll see very low power consumption for four months on a single charge depending on what you're doing here this will take uh, 15 se second video clips and upload them to the cloud which you get a free seven day cloud storage uh, motion trigger uh, clips will automatically be saved and sent to the cloud and you're going to get se seven days free cloud storage there also 120 degree viewing angle uh, very low bandwidth use on this uh, camera so let's get it set up and we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like okay so i've wired up my hub this has gone straight to the router and I've plugged this into the wall. This will go blue and then when it goes out, it means it's ready. Okay, so I've plugged in the camera and this is gonna charge our camera. So basically you'll plug in the other cable into the hub and you can then push the button here and this will then start the charge process for the camera itself. And this can take up to three hours to charge the battery. So give that a full charge and then we'll move on to the next step. Once we've done that, we need to get the Moobox Cam software installed. So I'm just going to go to the 
Google Play Store on the Android phone and we're going to click on install and this will start to install the application so we can control uh, the camera. So let that download, it's about 20 megabytes in size. Now we need to create a user account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that part. Now to get these two synced, all we need to do now is choose the camera that we're using. In our case, it's the Moob uh, Box Pro XT. Click on this and it will give you a little video to show you what to do. Basically hold the camera for five seconds. The light will start flashing blue. Go next step and then it will tell you to hold it for two seconds and then hold the router or hub for two seconds and then they will sync together and that's pretty much it and once you've done that you can click start and you should be pretty much good to go from there so once you've got your camera synced up you will be able to see the feed from that camera once you push play now from here i can do some audio i can talk through the camera if i wish i can take snapshots if i want to do that i can use this button down here to take snapshots. I can also uh, talk uh, to the person down through the camera. I can listen here. I've also got some settings which I can mess with here as well, which gives me my settings page, motion detection, battery life, and all that sort of good stuff. You can see the network is good. Battery life is 60%. Motion detection I can put on. That means anytime someone goes near the camera, it's gonna start recording. Obviously, if it's indoors, you don't want to be doing that because obviously you're gonna end up having loads and loads of footage being sent up to the cloud. You've got an upgrade here, which I can do if I wish. I can remove the device and go back here. And uh, I've drawn the curtains, but basically, if I want to go live, I just push this button here and it will give me a live feed of what's going on. It takes time to connect. And there we go. That's pretty much it. That is the nighttime vision. I've drawn the curtains. It's, it's still daylight outside, but you can see it's very dark in that room. Uh, what I will do now is I'll go down and put the light on and open the curtains so you can see what it looks like uh, with uh, plenty of light coming in the room. Okay, so here is the daytime footage I wanted to show you here, very high definition, as you can see, 1920 by 1080p. Uh, you could put, um, the onboard storage is 16 gigabytes, but if you wanted to put more, you can have up to 128 gigabytes on there. And also you've got that seven day free uh, cloud storage as well, which is going to start recording and sending it to the cloud. If you have motion detection on, it will start recording and taking that up to the cloud and onto your uh, micro SD card slot. So if you've got this on a doorway or something like that, or in your living room or just outside, it's going to be great for that type of um, protection. And also it's wire free, um, runs on a battery and very low bandwidth use as well. And the, uh, the I think the camera is a great option if you don't have a mains outlet near an area where you just want to get some uh, camera footage there, maybe the driveway or something like that you just want to get some images there but you don't have any source of power there then a battery camera like this is ideal for that type of situation anyway i hope this one's been useful to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great weekend and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos